What's up guys, it's Trey. Welcome back to the channel as always. Welcome back to sunny, beautiful Germany. Today, obviously this is a pretty serious topic that I wanna discuss. And it's probably the number one question I get asked about life here in Europe. And that is, what is the black experience living in Germany? What is it like? What do you experience? How do you feel? How are you treated? I'm gonna be addressing a number of different things about being black in Germany and what I've personally experienced as well. So without further ado, stay tuned, let's get into it. All right, so before we dive too deep into the video, I actually wanna give you guys a little bit of background on myself. So obviously, as you could tell by the accent, I'm not from Germany, I'm not a native German speaker. And really, I've only been to Germany three times before deciding to move here with my wife and son. I'm actually a Florida native, I'm a South Florida native. I'm also the product of an interracial marriage. My mother is black and my father is Puerto Rican. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably like, well, Trey, Puerto Rico, like what is your dad? So my dad is actually a white passing Latino. Also on his side, he has Taino Indian and then obviously he has the white Spaniard. So I'm a mutt all around. My wife is also black as well, but she's a mutt as well. So um, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of background on myself. I'll also be kind of tying that into some of the experiences that I've had living in the U.S. as well. So I've lived throughout the U.S. and I'm actually going to be talking about how being black in Germany is different from being black in the U.S. So I'm going to be giving you guys some examples. We're going to be really hitting on some important topics. And please, if you're the type of person that is like easily offended or like you're not able to talk about race, this might not be the video for you because I don't like to beat around the bush and I want to give you guys an honest representation of what life is like as a black person living in the U.S and living in Germany. So let's not waste any more time and get into it. So recently I was on Twitter. I saw that somebody actually reposted a video from TikTok and it was showing this black lady at a grocery store in Germany. And she was just talking about how great it was, how cheap it was, how easily accessible different things were. And she was just so happened to be in Germany. So right out the gate that got my attention. And I decided to kind of cruise through the comment section and see what people were saying. And to my surprise and to my shock, I was actually seeing a lot of black Americans showing interest in life in Germany and moving to Germany and just really seeing how unique and different it was from life in the US. Now, one comment that stuck out to me was there was this actually pretty well-known chef in the US. He's actually from Florida. He made a comment saying that, well, you know, Germany sounds great and fine and dandy, but there's no black people there. You're not gonna see anybody that looks like you. And so it kind of got me to thinking, is that statement true? And I saw people were liking it and retweeting his statement. And I was like, statistically, yeah, I could see where you're coming from, but actually being here in Germany, I actually see a lot more black people than I thought I would. Now, let's be real for a second. Germany is a very white country, right? This country, the majority of the German citizens that live here are actually white. That's no surprise. It wasn't a shock to me moving here, seeing, you know, white people everywhere. I knew what we were getting ourselves into, but what I didn't know is that I would also be seeing a lot of black faces as well. So just to also let you guys know, we live here in Stuttgart, which is in uh, Baden-Württemberg. We're in the Southern portion of Germany. Living here in Stuttgart on paper and statistically, there really aren't that many black people, but since we've been here, I see black people everywhere. I see them at the market. I see them at festivals. I see black people walking down the street. I see black parents taking their kids to school in our neighborhood. So for me, that was shocking. So statistically, Germany has around 83 million people that live here. And of that 83 million people, there's only a million black people that live here in Germany. So pretty shocking statistics, but um, at the same time, I want black people to realize that you will see black people here. You will see black faces. And now a lot of that is going to depend on where you live. If you live in a large city like Berlin, you're going, you're going to see black people everywhere. If you live in a large city like Köln, München or Stuttgart or Dresden, you're going to see a lot of black faces there, a lot more than you would think. So, um, Going back to that Twitter post, you know, I decided to say like, hey, I see black people here all the time. And I started to notice that I was getting more and more likes and it's actually great 
to see Germans chime in to that comment section as well on Twitter and just give honest feedback because anybody can sit there and say, why would I wanna live somewhere where I'm not gonna see black people? Anybody could say that, right, from the bleachers or anybody could say that from another country, but until you actually get there, it, it, it's just, it's not the same. And so somebody that is actually here on the ground, I wanted to let you guys know that you will see black people here in Germany. Are you gonna see as many black people as you see in the US? Of course not, that's just not how it is. But what I will say is that there's a large exodus of black people looking to leave the US for a number of reasons. Now this isn't a political channel, but I'm just being honest, black people are sick and tired, honestly, in the US, for the most part. And people in the US are sick and tired in general in the US. There's just a mass exodus of people looking to leave the US right now, and black people are definitely looking to abandon shit right now. And so Germany is a place that is a highly desirable place for black people to live for a number of reasons. Education, access to housing, healthcare costs, job opportunities. But I would say the number one reason why black people are looking to move here is for safety. Germany is a very safe country. And so I also started to notice more comments trickling in, you know, it might've been trolling, whatever, but I actually started to take some of the comments seriously when people were saying like trade, like clearly you haven't been to East Germany, you haven't been near the Polish border, or you haven't been near the Czech border. So people have just constantly said like trade, the racism is rampant in Eastern Germany, right? <laughs> Believe it or not, we actually decided to test that theory while we were driving to Prague. So um, Prague from Stuttgart is about a five and a half hour drive. We have a son who's a baby. We didn't want to take him that straight shot. So we actually decided to stay halfway between Stuttgart and Prague. So we ended up staying literally right along the Czech border and we really wanted to test that theory. So we ended up staying a night in a very small town. I don't remember the name, but it was literally like, you could toss a pebble out the window and you would be in the Czech Republic. And um, I'm not gonna lie, like you pull up into this town, you know for a fact there's not gonna be any black people, no people of color at all whatsoever. So right out the gate, you're a little bit nervous, right? That's kind of what we're used to in the US is when you're a black person, there's just certain parts of the country certain cities, certain towns that you don't want to be. You don't feel comfortable there. You don't feel welcome there. So going into it, as we pulled into that town, I, you know, my guard is up, right? I'm nervous. I'm nervous for my family. I'm like, these people most likely are gonna speak English, right? Because we're on the Czech border and how many Americans do they have coming in and out of there? How many people from the UK do they have coming in and out of there, Canada? So lo and behold, we were actually treated with so much respect and dignity. Right, so I had this wall up, natural, being from the US. I'm in this small town, I've got my wife and son with me. It's dark outside, but they were nice and they were friendly, right? And this is a part of Germany that people have told me time and time again, Trey, this is, this is the heart of racism. This is where you are going to experience racism and prejudice is in East Germany and especially on the Czech border. But I, we did, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, we did not have that experience. Like we felt safe, we felt welcome, nobody was closed-minded, nobody was closed off. You know, granted there was the language barrier, but they still were there to help us. They still treated us like human beings. So I just, I, I really just wanna tell you guys, like it's very different being black here in Germany than it is in the US. And as I mentioned, safety is a big deal, right? It's a big deal for me specifically because I have a son, I have a wife, and it's just, I, I personally feel safe. Whenever I walk out of our home, I don't have that thought in my mind like, man, like something, something could happen, right? You know, that fear of possibly interacting or running into law enforcement or you know my tail light being out I, I don't have any of those fears or worries living here in Germany and honestly it, it feels really good to live in a place where um, I, I, I feel valued right and I know there's gonna be some people that chime in like Trey I've experienced racism in Germany now I want I want to be a 100% clear I'm not saying that racism doesn't exist in Germany I'm telling you that Personally, since we've lived here, I haven't experienced it. 
I really haven't. And I'm sure there's probably, you know, a level of systemic racism that exists here in Germany, but we haven't felt it, right? And everybody that we've talked to, they haven't felt it either, especially if you're coming from the US, a place that really has some big time issues happening right now. And historically it's had some big time issues for people that look like me, people that look like my wife, you know, people that look like my son. And so it's it's nice, it's, it's a refreshing feeling and thought to live in a place where I'm walking up to somebody and I'm interacting with them. The very first thought that they're thinking is not, this guy's black, this, guy, this means trouble or this guy's a threat to me. No, I, I don't have that at all, I really don't. And it's, like I said, it's really, really refreshing. So now I wanna talk about what I've experienced being a black person in the US. And so while this could take up, I could literally spend an hour talking about all the experiences that I've had as a black person in the US. I'm just gonna hit on a few topics that um, have really stuck with me in life. And I know for a fact I would never experience that here in Germany. So. For example, like I said, I'm from South Florida, right? Born and raised. I come from an interracial household. And I can recall one time we were driving from Tampa to Miami on something called Yeehaw Junction. I'm sure the Floridians in the comment section, they know what I'm talking about. Yeehaw Junction literally takes you across Central Florida. It's, it's essentially, no offense to anybody that lives there, it's toothless country. It's BFE. There's nothing going on there. There's no cell service. If your car breaks down, it's gonna take hours for somebody to get to you. It's a place that you really don't want to be. I'm just being honest, especially if you look like me. It gets, it obviously gets really hot in Florida. And so my dad decided to stop over at a gas station to get us ice cream, something that, you know, is a common experience that happens in the US and really anywhere. And so I can remember just getting into, literally crossing the threshold in the gas station. I'm maybe like, seven years old at the time. My dad and I are crossing the threshold in this gas station and the guy, the cashier at the counter, he just starts shaking his head. And so I'm like, what does this mean? What's going on? And he says, we don't, we don't serve you guys here. We don't serve, we don't serve you. I'm not gonna serve you. And so honestly, since my dad is actually um, a smart guy, instead of just choosing to go back and forth with this guy, we just straight up left, right? That is one of many experiences that I've had in the US where it's just, you're treated differently because of the way you look. We didn't even say a word to that cashier. We barely even showed our faces in that place, but we were just treated differently because of the way we look. And that is a common experience that black people in the US have, right? And obviously, you know, Arabs, Latinos, people experience that, right? It's not just black people, obviously, but I'm, I'm focusing on black people because it, it's just rampant. It's an experience that happens, especially in the Southern portion of the US, Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Kentucky, Texas. It's just something that we experience. And I know I mentioned those Southern states, but obviously it happens in other places as well. And it's just, it's not something that I believe you will experience here in Germany. I know there's a lot of people, a lot of black people that are going to chime in. You know, there's a lot of black people here that live in Germany that are military, right? So they live in smaller towns like K-Town or um, Baumholder, towns where there are literally no, no black people except the military. There's like 0% black people in those smaller towns. They may have different experiences than I would have in larger cities like the one where we live in Stuttgart or cities like Berlin, they're gonna have probably very different things to say. And I honestly hope in the comment section we can have real dialogue around that. Now surprisingly, one place where I've experienced rampant racism is the last place that we actually lived and that was the state of Hawaii. Now Hawaii, a lot of people think that it's just sunshine and rainbows, but there's, there's just it, it kind of makes me sad to talk about. There's so much sadness and so much pent up anger in Hawaii and it's just sort of boiled over and there's like, oh, there's, there's a ton of animosity, right? And so I've actually experienced it, unfortunately. And now me, when I look in the mirror and actually when I was in Hawaii, I could pass as being Kanaka. I could pass as being, you know, Polynesian or Asian Pacific Islander. I, I actually found out via a, um, ancestry test that I do actually have a little bit of Asian background, but that's besides the point. At the end of the day, I'm black. I look black. My hair is curly. It is what it is. I look black. And so I've actually experienced 
rampant amounts of racism while we lived in Hawaii. I got called the N-word twice. I got called the N-word while I was at work by a client. And so, you know, we talk about places that, you know, you think are racist or you think are prejudiced versus places that aren't. You can experience racism and prejudice and, you know, animosity in the craziest of places. And one place that a lot of people think is extremely racist is Germany. And sadly, I, I like kind of told myself that I wasn't gonna mention, mention this in the video. A lot of people are still caught up on national socialism. A lot of people still think that that is somehow wound into the German identity. That is, that is obviously the furthest thing from the truth. And so, yeah, I mean, we get treated with respect and dignity here. And I think probably the one thing that I really appreciate the most about living here in Germany is whenever we go to the grocery store, go to the mechanic, just go anywhere, like malls, people just talking on the street, people talk to us in German first. And I really appreciate that so much. Like I said, I'm Latino, right? And so let's say I'm in LA, for example, right? People don't speak to me in Spanish first, right? Because they just see a black face. They see a black person. Even though I have the most Hispanic name ever, <laughs> and my dad is one of the most Latino guys you'll ever meet, people just don't speak to me in Spanish first. But here in Germany, people speak to me in German first and I really can't tell you guys enough how like welcoming that makes me feel. It really gives me like the willies inside and um, I, I just appreciate it, I really do. You know, I'm not gonna lie guys, I could really spend hours talking about the black experience here in Germany, but um, I know a lot of people are gonna watch this video and I really hope that this video inspires you, especially if you're in the US. I, I really hope that this video and me talking to you face to face, I hope that it inspires you to be where you want to be. There's a lot of people right now, specifically in the US, because I'm American, so I'm just speaking to you as an American. There's a lot of people in the US that are afraid right now. They're afraid for the future. They're afraid because of what they look like. They're afraid of existing, right? because their life to an extent is under attack, right? There's a lot of craziness happening right now in the US on different fronts, right? To all the black people and people of color that are in the States, if you wanna live somewhere where you're valued, where you have opportunities, where there still is freedom and probably more freedom than in the US, if you wanna be somewhere where you're looked at as a human being and you're looked at as a black person and that person has pride in you because you're black and they don't see melanin as being some sort of weapon, I think that Germany is a pretty great country to be. And there's numerous countries in Europe where I think that it is safe to be black, right? There's not too many places um, in the Western world where we can say that. There's not too many places where black people can feel comfortable, but I'm letting you know right now that Germany is one of those countries. And so I know I'm gonna hear different experiences. I'm gonna hear so many different things, but I'm, I'm looking at you folks in the eye right now that are on the fence of where you wanna be. Do you wanna stay in the US where it's so easy, you know, it's comfortable, right? It's what you're used to, but you still have it in the back of your mind like I'm black. It, it's, it's hard to explain, and I'm sure there's there's gonna be a lot of non, obviously black people that watch this video. It, it's really difficult to explain. And uh, obviously black women have it a lot worse than black men do. So I'm speaking from a level of privilege, especially since I'm also light skinned as well. But I have that privilege because I'm a man and I obviously cannot you know, say enough how much more difficult it is to be a black woman in the States. But one thing that is really reassuring to me is I'm starting to see more and more black women specifically venture out of the States and venture over here to Europe and specifically here in Germany. This is a really awesome country. Uh, black women specifically can thrive here. Black men obviously can thrive here. I just think that we, we need to start having real conversations with ourselves and telling ourselves, do I want to continue staying in this uncomfortable position just because it's comfortable and it's because of what I'm used to and what I know? Do I want to continue just 
living this life because this is where I was raised? Or do you wanna try something different? And now I'm gonna be honest with you, making the move to Europe logistics wise is not easy. That's gonna be the most difficult part for you. But once you get here, I promise you, it's gonna literally open your eyes so much more and there's gonna be so many more opportunities than you will have living in the States. I'm just being honest, you know, I obviously live here and um, I, I think we've had an amazing, amazing time. It's been so eye-opening to us. And now for the black people out there that are saying, Trey, you're full of S-H-I-T. I don't believe a word that you're saying. The statistics say this, the statistics say that there's no black people that live there. There's still racism that's there. While some of those things are true, I need you to understand that once you actually step on the ground here in Europe, and once you're actually able to experience the things that we have, and that millions of other black people have, meaning opportunities, better opportunities, safety, appreciation, value, you, you don't have any room to talk. Don't, don't look me in the face and tell me that it's better in the States than it is here. Cause it's not, it's really not. It's a lie that we've been told, right? There's all, the, the black population in the US, it's only 13.4% black. That's really not a large population. People live in places like Atlanta, for example, or in Alabama, and they're like, man, this is comfortable. I'm around black people, which is fine. That's not an issue. But what I'm letting you know is that black people still aren't the majority in the States, statistically, since people want to bring up statistics. But it's just, I think that people really should step out of their comfort zone and try something new. And especially if you're one of those people that I mentioned that are on the fence about, do I stay in the States? Do I try something new? Just try it. What do you have to lose? The US isn't going anywhere. I'm gonna be blunt here for a second. The state, it's not getting better in the US, right? The States, the United States of America is not a country that is getting better. Nobody's gonna be able to look me in the face, honestly, and tell me that life is getting better in the US, right? So it's just, you know, I, I really, and I really, I, I wanna open up the comment section, right? And I wanna have real dialogue and I wanna have real discussion with people of color, with black people. And obviously if you're not a person of color, I wanna hear what you have to say as well, but I really want the black people that are on the fence or that aren't even on the fence, but this is just a video that came up because of the algorithm, I'd wanna talk to you, like seriously. Like what, what, what are you afraid of? And I already know the number one answer is going to be logistics. Trey, I can't afford to get here. I can't afford to get to Europe. Um, it's very difficult to get here. I just want you guys to know that I support whatever decision you decide to make. If you're a person that wants to stay in the States, if you're a black person that wants to stay in the States, more power to you. I, I just want to provide another avenue for people. I want people to feel comfortable and I want them to know that Germany really is a great country. Okay, so I know this is probably the longest video that I have ever made on YouTube. And for those of you guys that have stuck around up to this point, I really appreciate you. Um, the black, like I like to sort of to sum up everything, the black experience is extremely different here in Germany than it is in the US. Doesn't matter really where you live in the US. Obviously there's places where black people are treated great. Um, but from what I've experienced living here in Germany, it, it's been it's been like a complete 180, right? And so I'm sure it's gonna probably come up where I do experience some sort of interaction with somebody that is ignorant. I'm, I'm bound to experience that here in Germany. I'm obviously not looking forward to that day but I know it's gonna happen because there's just ignorant people everywhere, right? It doesn't matter where you are. And obviously the last place on earth I had ever expected to be called the N-word or experience racism, it happened in Hawaii of all places. So it doesn't matter where you are, you're gonna experience some level of ignorance and bigotry. So um, I just don't want you guys to think that Germany is this like, you know, backwards place, cause it's not. They're really progressive here. They're very open-minded and um, it's just, there's there's good people. There's good, genuine people here. Don't be afraid. And, and most importantly, don't, don't listen to anybody that hasn't been to Germany. There's a lot of like 
dialogue in the U.S. of people saying like, why would you want to be in Europe from people that haven't even been to Europe? They watch a couple of like ignorant YouTube videos or listen to a couple of ignorant podcasts from people that also haven't been to Europe and they start to formulate these falsities and falsehoods in their head and then boom, there, there goes the idea of leaving the U.S. Don't get suckered into those narratives. I'm, I'm telling you as somebody that actually is here on the ground, you could ignore everything that I've said, but most importantly, you need to realize that I actually live here. I actually look German people in the face daily. I live next to Germans. We work with Germans. Our son is gonna grow up in the German education system. So it's, it's different once you're actually here. And I want you guys to know that um, this is a great place to be if you're black. I have no complaints. I haven't experienced any racism or bigotry. You know, this, this, this for us was a huge life change. This was a huge move for us. We're a young married couple, right? And um, I think that this, at, at our point, at this point in our lives, this is probably the best decision we could have ever made. And we thought like, oh, you know, like let's, let's move to California, right? Somewhere that's very open-minded or, oh, let's move to New England, someplace that's very open-minded. It, it hit us, obviously my wife got the job opportunity, but it hit us like, why would we, st we're still in the States. So it's like, we're putting our foot in our mouth. We're just basically, you know, spinning around in circles. If we were to go somewhere else and live, if we were to live somewhere else in the States, we're still in the States we're, we still experience the same issues. And even if we're not experiencing them directly, we still see people that are experiencing them. And so that, that's what probably hurts us the most is seeing the actions happen, seeing the negativity that happens. So, so I know there's a lot to unpack in this video. Um, I'm sure you guys probably have loads of questions and I am here. If, if, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, I respond to literally every single one of my comments that are under my videos, people calling me cute, people telling me that I don't know how to dress people that hate you know, this color wall in the back, it doesn't matter what it is. I will respond to anything that you have to say, any question, any insult, I respond to everything. And I do it openly and honestly. So please, if you have any questions for me at all, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm also gonna do something that I don't usually do. I'm gonna drop my Instagram handle below as well. Feel free to DM me. That's, that's probably gonna be one of the more easier ways to reach out to me because I'm on Instagram all the time. So. Reach out to me if you have any questions, um, if you're black, if you're not black, if you're Latino, if you're Arab, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you are. If you, if you want to know more, or if there is something that I didn't hit on, or if there's a question that you have, please let me know below. Um, like I said, there's a lot to unpack in this video, and I'm sure it probably wasn't easy to um, hear about the experiences that I've had in the US, but just trust me, it's literally the, teeny tiny tippy part of the iceberg of things that I have experienced in the US and obviously black people you just walk up to any black person in the US and ask them what they've experienced in the US you're gonna hear a multitude of different experiences but they're all gonna be shrouded in this ignorance that is just spewed towards us for some reason just simply because we're black you're not gonna experience that in Germany at least directly in your face you're not gonna experience that. There's no sundown towns here. You don't have to worry about a cross being burnt in your front yard. Just seriously, I want you guys to, you know, really start considering some things moving forward. And so I hope this video helped clear up a lot of things. As always, thank you guys for the continued love and support. Thank you. Mahalo for watching.